Hey, yo, Flip. Yo. I'm going to put you on some fire, man. They got this new bed wash company. They got the lotion and the, the everything. What's their name? They got a recovery room. It's What's out- the name? Uh, Maestro's, Maestro's Classic. Hey, money's up front. I'm I'll, put you, you I'll put you on. I'll put you on. I'll put you on the you Maestro's, sure? man. You forgot where I brought you? You forgot where I brought you oh, up there? Oh, man. You forgot? You forgot about man. Ghost? All right, all right. Who is What's his name? Ghost. You know who he cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yo, make sure you get your Maestro's Classic Bed Care products yes. today at Target, CVS, mm-hmm. or go on maestrosclassic.com and use the promo code QUEENSFLIP to get 10% off. 10%? That's it? I thought it was, I thought it was free if you put your... Are you crazy? All right, I got it. Make sure you go there today. Log on. Maestro's with an S dot com. I'm from Queens. G-Money! Yo. What's up, man? How you doing, man? What's good? What's good? How you feeling? I feel alright, man. I feel all right, good. good. Yeah, yeah. What's good? What's up, man? Just a little tired, man. Tired? We're working hard? Nah, yeah. Hardly yeah. working, nigga. From Queens, man. We is tired. Oh, yeah. Episode, episode, what? we at, man? It's 100 episodes, man. 100 episodes? Mm-hmm. How you feeling, man? You know, I, I want to say something live, you know, before we get the show started. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to tell you a couple of things. Um, oh, man. We've been through, been through a lot of, um, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You quitting, nigga? just want to say, um... I just want to say something very important to you. Yeah. You paying attention? Yeah. It's serious. What are you laughing for, man? Go ahead, man. So, um, you know, 100 episodes, man, you know, I just want to tell you one thing that, that you, that you know, I, I usually don't tell everybody, you know, it's like real selective few I tell this thing to, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you cool, man. You cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Yo, 100 episodes, man, I appreciate it. That means a lot coming from you, man. Thank you, thank you. Let me even riding, you've been riding with me. You know, to the wheels fall off, and it's definitely something important and special, man. You yeah, know what I mean? And a lot of ups and downs. We've been lately having a lot of, a lot, a lot of classics, a lot of classics. And um, you know, shout out to everybody. Yo, I hear, I hear the mic somewhere, man. Is this the speaker, Togo? The mic is something, doing something. Maybe turn down all the mic lines. You hear me, Togo? Yo, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know, it d- definitely feels good, man. You know, it's a long time coming. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been riding for a long time, and a lot of different studios, a lot, a lot of different. Yeah, we've um, kicked out a lot mm-hmm. of studios, man, and uh, you know, but we was doing a lot of reckless things. Of course. First episode, we had the girl give head in, in the studio. Facts. The engine room. They banned us. <laughs> it's a fact. That's, That's cr- fucked up. That's man. crazy. That, that, that was. That was. He <sighs> was in that room. We watched. That was that was legendary. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a lot of shit, but you know that, that, what, what, what matters is what matters is that we not stopping, man. Shout out to all the brothers that came on here, Thanks. Bimmy, So B, everyone that came on here and made Flip the Script classic, man. We in the hundred thousands, you know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about Flip the Script the episodes, and that's amazing to me, man. Yeah, that's all I meant. That's amazing that we're able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Feels good. Yeah, feels so. good. Let's get it going. But well, we here now, you know what I'm saying? We got we got we got, we got some new guests in the building. Yeah, facts. You know, um, before that though, we gotta we gotta do our, you know. Let's go, man. G Money! Yo. You good? Ready. Yeah, I know. You get your, get your applause ready. <laughs> ready. Episode motherfucking 100. Nigga, we made it. Woo. Uh-oh. 100 episodes. Got a special guest. Look me in the eye in the hallway. Told mm. me he good. <laughs> Harlem legend. Mm. Look me in the eye. You know, you know, I don't know if it was trying to intimidate me, but it, it, it kind of worked. Kind of worked? Respect it. Look mm-hmm. me in the eye, shook his hand, you gotta look a man in his eyes. And she said, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? We got Gangsta Lou in the building, Harlem, man. Yeah. Salute, how you doing, homie? It's fine, that's what's great, G-Money. What's, what's good, what's good? How you doing? Good morning, good morning, bro. Inti- introduce the comrade right here. Oh, man, I got my partner, Fox 5, no friends, you know. Fox 5, what's going Fox on? Five. One and only, only one, no friends, militia. Yeah, man, got my nigga radio, you know what I mean? Salute, partner. salute to everybody, you know salute, salute. Mm-hmm. Introduce the homie, you know what I mean? Got the homie Moses blood, the blazer. Mm. What's good though? What up? What up? Swag blood. Us, us, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Moses. You know, I, I like you, light skin nigga, smooth, light eyes. But you gonna have to put that phone down a little bit, man. Please, man. It made me nervous. But you a fire nigga, man. You fuck your bitch. Watch him. Watch <laughs> Moses, man. I ain't bringing around none of my bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't fuck that. Niggas with light eyes always trying to fuck niggas bitches, man. Yo, man, listen, I got some few. Thunder, uh, the thunder, okay. Thundercats, ho. Oh, uh, y'all know y'all can't smoke in here, right? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, only man. you could prevent forest fires. <laughs> 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 what's up with you, man? I like 
He said, Why are you cool? I can like, landlord it out, man. This shit looking, looking crazy. Yeah, he can't just walk by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not your boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy. Hold on. He came to see the Lord of the land. You heard me? Yeah. Oh, it's just like. He will he will buy a look just now. Yeah. Yeah, no more. That's what eyes is for. Yeah. Watch <laughs> five. Uh, Yo. Yeah. What's up, man? How you doing, man? It used to be my blood pressure, but water tastes better. Mm. All right. Just pop it. I like it, man. Wow. I love my mother more. Queen Flip. What up? Flip the script. G Money. What's wow. up? <laughs> gangsta Lou. What's happening? Let's get back to the gangster. Here we go. Here we get to Here we get to Make sure you talk to the mic. Make sure you talk to the mic, too. If I Pause. Can... Talk on the mic. Move, Here's instructions. Move, 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 move it over. Pause. Pause. On the internet, he's trying to size me up, ladies and gentlemen. No freaky. Uh -huh. My disclaimer. Hey, yo, Fox, you, wa you, wa you watched me before, right? You watched me first. Yeah, you watched me before, right? I'm a legend. Do you watch me before? You, you watch me? Yeah, flip. I see all the time. You got your hat on, take your hat off. What, what, what I'm trying to tell you is that you you playing the pause game. Now I'm on you now. I'm pause. Fuck. Don't rasp me, nigga. For every pause, there for every pre, there for every play, but there's a rewind. Fast forward. Oh my oh. god, <laughs> slick talking niggas, man. That can of oil, you nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the gangster though. <laughs> Yo. I don't got no friends. You wild friendly. <laughs> Never. Never. I'm from Queens. But I, I, the fact that he liked Queens, I heard his, I heard his joint. Fuck with the Queens niggas. I don't know what he. Basely, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. the black hand entertainment. I heard it. Craft. Uh -huh. Salute. All right then. Let's, Let's get to the gangsters. Let's get to the gangsters. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Good, my dude. What's good, my man. I'm good. Man, where we at with this shit, man? This How's everything? So, 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 for the, you know, a lot of people know who you are, man. You know, it's a lot of interviews. Mm -hmm. Um, how long you been locked up for? What time? <laughs> What's the whole time you did the accumulate? <laughs> I don't know, man. We've been incarcerated our whole lives. I've been been mm -hmm. since 15 years old. When I stayed at 17. Mm -hmm. So I'm just coming home from doing two bids in Atlanta. You feel me? So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still bidding at my age. You're still bidding at your age. Yeah. So so what, what what part of Harlem are you from? Like where you tell us take us back growing up with you. I'm from the Mecca, uptown, mm -hmm. where it all started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on 45th Street, 45th Street, street. Mm. Yeah, 7th Avenue, 8th Avenue, Lennox Avenue, St. Nick, Broadway, mm. from river to river. Mm. Mm. And, and you were born in Harlem, raised in Harlem? Oh. Well, my family, my mom's is from Brooklyn, so I came to Harlem in my mom's stomach, you know what I mean? I don't even remember coming to Harlem, you feel me? Mm. But uh, yeah, I've been in Harlem all my life. And, uh, you know, my father's from Sierra Leone, you know what I mean? So I'm half African, mm. you know what I mean? So, yeah, got a lot of different shit going on with me, but uh, I'm not just straight Harlem, nah. I'm a little bit of everything, a little bit of Brooklyn, a little bit of Africa, yeah. So who was Gangsta Lou before Gangsta Lou? Bring us back to, bring, bring us back to... Boogaloo. Boogaloo. That's what Ben and them would tell you. Mm. What kind of kid were you growing, growing up? Teenager, like, what were you into when, when you were younger? I was a bad kid. Mm. <laughs> I was a bad kid. Why is that, you think? Probably because I ain't never have a father. Mm. I raised myself. You know, I was riding trains and shit at nine years old. Mm. Shopping for my mom's and Macy's and all that shit, nine years old. Wow. Getting high at 12. <clears throat> and I ain't talking about weed. So yeah, I had a rough life. Mm. When when you say that you were, um, where was you? Did you ever hear stories about your father? Where was he? Like where was he? My father came. To, uh, his family sent him here to uh, to go to school, to college, to build computers. Mm -hmm. Met my mom's, got my mom's pregnant, graduated, went back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a stranger brought me home from the hospital. A stranger brought you home from the hospital. Yeah. Wow. A uh, man came to visit his sister. She had just had a baby. My mom's had just had me. My mom's was holding me. Went over, spoke to my mom's, and, you know, took my mom's home. Wow. And raised me. Wow. Wow. You never met your real father at all? Wouldn't know him if he was sitting in the porch from me. Mm. 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 So, in Harlem, <clears throat> when you was younger, what was who was the people you looked up to when you were younger? Like who was who was moving around? You know, because when you watch the movies and hear the stories, you hear about um I don't know the guy just passed away, 
Lunga Gang to Frank Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. And um what's the guy, what's the other guy name that was on the cover? You got you said Bobby, Bobby Johnson. Johnson. Bobby Johnson as well. They're getting ready to do a movie on him. Mm -hmm. And then um what's the guy that, that that he wasn't supposed to what's the guy that was on the cover of um, Frank Matthews? Not Frank Matthews, uh I forgot his name, and Untouchable, what's his name? Who's Mr. Untouchable again, man? Um, Nicky Barnes. Nicky Barnes. Okay. Was what with those times was like the, 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 you was around those times. Those I was people. a kid at those at the at that time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I'll tell you like this, man. The first gangster I ever met was my mother. Mm -hmm. Ooh. First person, last person, only person to ever black my eye at nine years old and locked me in the room for a whole summer. And when that door opened, this is when I developed who I am now. You know what I'm saying? It, it, when you read the book, when you see the movie, it it's deep, man. It's so deep, man. It's, it's, it's hard to talk about it, but it, it's just facts. It's, it it makes more sense of who I am and why I am and probably why I do the shit I do. You know what I'm saying? But there's no excuse. I know right from wrong. Mm. But I got so much pain built up inside me that it turns into anger and it be kind of hard. <coughs> like, I deal with it my way, which ain't always the right way, so it gets me in trouble. Right. But, you move the mic closer a little bit to you, please. Yeah, it's not always the right way, mm. my way, but, you know. That's how you handle it. That's how I handle it, and I take it how it comes. Mm. You, um, so, growing up in Harlem, mm -hmm. you said that you, 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 you were smoking at 12. No, I wasn't smoking at 12. You were not? I was sniffing coke at 12. I was sniffing coke at 12. Yeah. How did somebody introduce you to that? I mean, how did, how you get introduced to that at Harlem? That's crazy. I'm, um, <laughs> quite a good environment, so to say. It's yeah. accessible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh. Man, it's just like growing up, man. You know, you around niggas, and this is what's happening in the 80s, and, you know, I want to be down. Mm -hmm. I got potential to be down. Let's see how down you really can be. Mm -hmm. which, which is called influence. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not pressure. It's more so like, you know? Mm -hmm. So I did it, man. I did it for a long time until um, I went upstate. And mm -hmm. I never did it again. Or say you went upstate at 17, you said? Yeah, I went up to a uh, little Juby joint, DF5 joint. And uh, that's how I got close to, that's how I got with Queens, really. I knew uh, Richard and Ron. I don't know if you knew the twins. Got a brother named Wally. They died, both of them. God mm -hmm. bless them. And uh, those was my niggas. But to make a long story short, I had went AWOL from the Juby joint because I had went up there with gonorrhea. And they couldn't cure it, so they had to send me back downstate. So they sent me to the Board of Health in Queens. Mm -hmm. You know where that's at, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people who bought me on the van stepped out the room. I didn't know that, but when I stepped in to get checked, the nurse was already checking somebody, so she told me to step out. When I did, they weren't there, so I seen the exit, hit the exit, hit the steps, ran across the street to the Ronald McDonald phone, called Richard and Ron, gave them an address. They came and picked me up. I wound up living in Queens for three years in their basement because I was on the run. Mm -hmm. I went AWOL. And that's how I got a chance to meet Preen and Bimmy and Joe and 40 Projects niggas. And I was the only Harlem nigga running around in projects. Mm. What was your first encounter with, 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 with Bimmy and like Supreme and these guys? Like? You want me to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I ain't no liar, no how, bro. I don't know how far your shit could take shit, but... You know, I told the story before. I, they was always fly, mm -hmm. always mobbed up. Me, on the other hand, I was always by myself because Harlem niggas never really traveled too much back then. They always stayed in Harlem. Me, on the other hand, I used to go to the garage and steal AZ and Richard Port in their cars, and I couldn't drive them in Harlem, so I had to go somewhere else to drive mm -hmm. them, so I picked Queens. But I met them being in the fever and uh, 
going at it with Brooklyn niggas. And they seen what type of nigga I was. And they took me back to Baisley Projects and showed me and printed and let me know what time it was. And I was shocked. I was blown away. Hmm. And uh, actually, I stayed out there with them niggas. They took me from the Queen straight out there. I wound up staying with them for about two weeks, three weeks in Queens. I stayed in that, that JD's hotel, man. I don't know if you know about the JD joint. Mm -hmm. What a nigga named Dalu. I know, I heard about him. Crazy Dalu. Mm -hmm. The burn on his face. Mm -hmm. his sister was Yvette who passed away. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my boy. He took me out there and showed me some shit and uh, left me. And uh, niggas like Baby Wise, niggas like been me, niggas like Joe, Green Eye Bond, mm -hmm. you know, Black Just, Robo Just, you know, niggas took me in, seen I was a little skinny nigga, but I had a lot of art. And, um, yeah, from there I went to 40 projects, got with Walt, got with Hank, got with Seagull, mm -hmm. got with the Box. Shout out to Box. I just saw him just now, too. Box. Yeah. Yeah, these are my niggas, man. You know, I, these niggas, uh, I couldn't wait to get back to Harlem, man. To tell yeah. me. And tell him the shit I saw. The shit that I witnessed and shit. What's the difference between, well, back then, like, between Queens and Harlem, you, you think, as far as, like... Queens just... niggas was just fly. They wore gators and wore minks and wore suits and shit like that. It was different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They wore uh, dicky suits and shit like that, and car high suits, and you know, gold in their mouth. You know, <laughs> that's how I have wound up getting the gold in my mouth. That's why I ain't got these joints now, cause I had to get the shit taken out. But that's where I got my gold at originally was in Queens. Mm. So yeah, I was there. I was there with the Fat Cat era. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the whole, the whole shit, man. I was there from the beginning, man. I mean, I'm not gonna say the beginning of Queens, but right, right. I could truly say I brought Queens to Harlem and Harlem to Queens. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? As far as connecting everybody. Exactly. I did that. <clears throat> I, I I listened to an interview of yours. Let's get straight into it. I listened to an interview of yours, mm -hmm. and you said that you regret introducing Alpo to Rich Porter. Right. <clears throat> And um, mm -mm. But you said you shouldn't have. If he... No, 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 no. I'm gonna let you finish it, then I'm gonna tell you what I said. Yeah, all right, cause, all right. So what I thought I heard mm -hmm. is that you said that maybe if I didn't introduce them, Rich would be alive today. I said that. Yes, pardon me. So what I didn't say was it wasn't Rich, it was AZ that I introduced him to. Okay. See, let me, I'm a, I'm. I'm going to do something for your show that I ain't did for no show, bro. Mm -hmm. All right? And I'm going to put it on what it's supposed to be on. We was, a, we was a team. But each boss went his own way. Had his own crew. Made their own money. We never made money together, bro. We didn't sit down and count money together, bro. Like the movie show job, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand me, my nigga? Mm -hmm. So, man, when you, you ask me certain shit, man, it kind of like, it, it, it hit me in a different type of way. But one thing for sure, two things for sure, bro, I ain't going to lie about shit, man. And I'm a stand-up nigga, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it to you facts, bro. Like, we was just, you know what I mean? But each man had a different agenda. Each man did his own thing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we only came together at certain points and certain times. This was not no crew. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We was really more like family. And Paul, I mean, like right now, I'm kind of upset at him. He home. He running around. He running his mouth. Taking pictures with niggas. I'm not even talking about that because mm -hmm. I know those niggas that's taking pictures with him. These, is, <clears throat> these was kids. Mm -hmm. When he was running around, mm -hmm. they don't have nothing to do with none of this shit, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to involve them in this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening. I'm good for who take a picture with them. These are kids. 
they are people who might looked up to them and might look up to them now. To me, they're kids. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of upset. He, he, he running around and he, he doing a lot of talking. But my thing is this, my nigga. Uh, which camera's on? Go ahead. I want to look at the camera and I want to ask you this, Pope. Who did you ever do something to? I'm talking about you. Like, it's a difference between a doer and a half-doer. I'm a doer. So when niggas run around running their mouth about what they gonna do to Lou and this, that, and the third, or he's boogaloo and all that, I think niggas been away too long, bro. I think niggas need to walk around and talk to some of these little young niggas that's running around here doing all the killing. Or, or walk in some of these yards and some of these jails that I done walked in, bro. And ask some of these niggas, man. I do this shit for real. I was doing it when you left. And I'm still doing it now that you home, bro. So when you talk about me, bro, be easy. Because this shit here is real shit, bro. I'm Boogaloo, yeah, but I'm definitely Gangster Lou. The homie. Know that shit, bro. Uh, so... I saw um, <clears throat> the reason why I brought the picture up because somebody said on the internet that he takes pictures with niggas he that, do. that talk shit just to see the temperature. They're not talking nothing, bro, these dudes. And then the niggas that he is running on, these dudes is not no gangsters, bro. They're not firing nothing, bro. They don't want no smoke, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And a lot of niggas talk about they ain't scared to die. I bet they ain't in a rush. Hmm. Wow. That's real. You understand me, bro? Mm -hmm. I got hit five times, bro, with the fifth and the nine at the same time, bro, and got up and walked like a man, bro. These dudes, my nigga, this shit, it just make me so mad, my nigga. It, 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 it hurt me that little niggas and young niggas could really jack a lot of this Fugazi $3 bill shit, my nigga, and then real niggas die and go to prison and we don't get no props, we don't get no love, we don't get no nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. We just looked at as bad guys. When in all reality, bro, we the truth, my nigga. We on concrete every day. We dying every day. We going to prison, bro. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody telling, bro. I ain't never told on a nigga in my life, man. And if I told y'all who sent me upstate, that would be another show. But I'm going to say that because they know who they, they, they are. Mm -hmm. Niggas is bitches, bro. I bought that man the A, man. He run around talking about I didn't. They, they did the movie. Said he met Rich in jail. He might have ran into him. I bought the man the A. Put the work in his hand. The man would sleep on his mama. The nigga waited downstairs from 2 o'clock in the evening to 3 in the morning for work, bruh. And when me and A came downstairs, we was on the elevator. I looked at A. I said, yo, bruh. We left this nigga downstairs, bro. <laughs> he said, yo, yo, so what we gonna do? I said, that nigga probably gone. We'll see that nigga tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When we walked out the building, this man was on his motorcycle like this, bro, sleep, bro. I looked at A and said, come on, A, let's go back upstairs and get that work, bro. This man's serious, bro. Mm -hmm. That's how that thing happened, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm telling it for the world, bro. Anything I say is the truth, bro. Niggas is fugazi, bro. How did you meet him? Apple, oh, I know Poe from 16th Street. He used to go to the store for a lady named Virginia who I looked at as an aunt. They was all filthy rich. He, 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 he was a little dirty dude. I, I, I know him, man. I used to ride, I, this is what happened, bro. I used to ride up and down in AZ's cars, mm -hmm. go through one-way streets and all that because I didn't even know how to read the signs. I was so young. He used to see me, and every time he saw me, I had a different car. And he asked me one day, where is you getting this money, bro? And I told him, uptown, with a nigga named AZ. You trying to get some money? Meet me up on St. Nick, bro. And that's what he did. And if I'm lying, I hope my kids die, bro. Yeah, that's how real this interview is, bro. You done bought a live Y in here, bro. Man, nigga, I'm a suicide bomber, nigga. 
with no bomb. Mm. For real, bro. So, so it offends. So, let me ask you a question. So, because when I listened to the interview as well, you stated that the reason that he said he killed Rich didn't it, it, it bothered you, bro. You don't think it's substantial enough to kill somebody? You don't. You shouldn't kill a boss. That's one of the reasons, bro. The, the the real reason, bro, it bothered me is because I was just standing with Rich before he died. Mm. I was just standing with this man, just as close as I am standing here, sitting here with you, bro. This man laughed. This is the last time I remember seeing Rich, bro. His sister was going to City Island. He thought it was funny. For some reason, he laughed. And I looked at him. And when he was laughing, my mind was spinning. Because I was trying to figure out how the fuck is he doing this shit, like... This nigga's a real nigga. He's really trying to pretend everything is okay or everything is going to be okay. But he knew it wasn't. And then his people went off. And he looked at him. He said, yo, I got to go. I'll be right back. And he walked down to his death, bro. That's why I'm mad. You killed him when he was at his most vulnerable. This man, brother, was missing, bro. Why would you do it then? Why would you do it at all, bro? A man, brother, missing, bro. Bro, I don't listen, man. The niggas who shot A. If I went up north today and tomorrow, bro, you know what I tell them niggas, man? Y'all some stupid niggas, man. Y'all niggas could have asked A for some money, man, or some work. Y'all listen to a bozo nigga? Y'all let a bozo nigga talk y'all into doing this? What was the nigga? What was his name again? These niggas is from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Boldens. I don't know these niggas. I don't even give a fuck. Respect. You understand what I'm saying? I'm mm. just keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That. Appreciate that. You 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 do shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then you call a nigga a rat and this down the third. He told on one nigga, his sister's ex boyfriend. His sister's ex boyfriend told on y'all. Y'all wouldn't be in prison if this nigga didn't tell on y'all. Don't make it seem like y'all in prison because A told he didn't know y'all niggas from a hole in the wall, bruh. He didn't know y'all niggas. Never seen y'all, none of that, bruh. So y'all let a bozo nigga talk y'all into doing bozo shit. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a nigga, I could do shit like this, bro, and say what I want to say. Just as long as my shit is valid. And I'm ready to die for what I say. Straight up, bro. And I got niggas that's ready to die with me. So at the end of the day, it's really none of that old chill. Nah, this is non-filter here, bro. I'm giving it to you raw. Niggas did dumb shit. I had just took the nigga up there to get a half a joint. The niggas, niggas did stupid shit, bro. You just got to just watch the movie, my nigga. That's why I'm just waiting on somebody just to give me a check, B. Because, yo, my nigga, my shit is paid in full on steroids, bro. Because I'm going raw with this shit. Niggas is playing games, man. Niggas is scared of niggas, man. I ain't scared of nobody but God, man. So, when you hear about... So, the nigga come home. Who? Why? I'm talking about Alpo. And? Yeah. He came, he came home. I'm just telling you. I'm just. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm not from Harlem, so I'm just. Yeah. He came home. Right. And you say he's talking crazy. So obviously you hear it. But why is why if that's the case, if people, a lot of people have an issue with him, why is he allowed to still come back to the area where These he did? These people are not tough. These people have nothing to do with our shit. Mm -hmm. These people did not eat or they did not shit when we ate. Got it. You understand what I'm saying? Understand. These people are just part of the shit because they're from the area. And I truly do feel that if Rich was alive, it would still be money in Harlem. Because he brought a certain type of spark to Harlem. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. It's just as simple as that, my nigga. When a nigga did that, he fucked Harlem up, bro. He didn't only fuck up Harlem. He fucked up the Bronx. He fucked up Queens. He fucked up every borough. You know why? Because he made it hard for me to trust him and for him to trust me now. That's what's going on. Bro. But but let me ask you a question. If if he met if he met, how did anybody? How did the speculation start that he killed Rich? 
if he did if nobody knew they was meeting did people see them together bro that's that's part of my movie that's part of my shit i could never tell you that ah oh, got you i could tell you why he killed them but then that would take all my money got you i cannot i would not i would not do that until i until but i, I, I bro i'm there from the from when he walked away until his death bro until the day until when they found out the man was dead you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah bro like you know what I'm saying? I've been with A since 1980. I'm 15 years old. I've been with A. He just got fired from the cleaners, bro. I'm with A from day one. I'm with A before anybody, before, except for his brother and Stan. But I'm there from day one, bro. So what was his reason they didn't put you in the movie or mention your name? What was their reason? I could say that I stay in jail a lot, but that's no excuse. I say that in all the interviews because it's facts. Mm -hmm. It's just fucking facts. Like... When they were shooting the movie, actually, I was home when they were shooting the movie. My nigga, I took the passes and gave them the niggas to go be in the movie. Because when I got there, niggas bought Merrimax to me. Little short white man with glasses, real humble. He said, Merrimax, this is Gang Salute. King Salute, this is Merrimax. I looked at him, I said, hey, how you doing? You know what he said to me, Fire? What he said, bro? He said, I thought you was dead. Wow. Oh. Wow. So I looked at him, I said, um, I'm alive. He froze for a minute, because I guess he must have caught himself, but he said what he what niggas fed him. Mm -hmm. you, you think what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, his reaction, his face reaction, yeah, like, like God damn, should I have not said this shit or what the fuck? Or is this a blessing in disguise? So he looked at me. He said, "Oh, Casey Lou, could you do me a favor? Could you go show Makai Fife and them how y'all was doing it?" And he gave me the headphones. And you know what I did? I went and did it for him. Mm -hmm. You gave him the real print, not the red print, I went, blue print. I went and showed print. them niggas how we did it and, and, and got up out of there, bro. Choreographer. So who you think so told who you think to send them that message? It don't matter. First of all, I'm always gonna blame A Z. Bro, if I'm a boss, bro, I'm responsible for anything that happens in my circle, bro. I'm the boss, bro. Mm -hmm. I hold full responsibility for anything, bro. I'm like a fucking black Cheo. A is more like Castro. Um. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so did you and Az fall out, bro? Let me tell you something, bro. I really never fell out the A because he was always the boss. Mm. Wow. He wow. was the boss when he left me in jail. He was the boss when he didn't bail me out. He was the boss when I starved. He was the boss when they did the songs and didn't give me no money. He was the boss when oh, they wow. did the movie. He was the boss when they did the book. He was the boss. He's the boss still. Let me let me ask you a question though, because um, he's just not my boss. When 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 you say when you now. I don't know the story between you and AZ. Yeah. But when you say somebody didn't bail you out, because I did hear in the interview you said that if somebody did something too much, or not too much, if you talked about murder or killing a lot around AZ, he, you would not see him again. Right. Do you think that your behavior might have contributed to him not bailing you out? Did you do anything that might have offended him where he, like, if he asked you to chill? Same thing with, we told Smurf with the 50 situation. Mm -hmm. if, you ask, if he asked you to chill or... And you didn't listen, so he like he tried to distance himself from you, or you felt like no matter what I did, you supposed to be there for me because of what we got, Bruh. I did shit without even being told to do it, bruh. In other words. If I worked for you, and this man came and robbed your spot, 
When you get there, I, that man already shot, bro. I ain't waiting for you to tell me, yo, Lou, go find him and shoot that man. Mm. I earned this name, Gangsta Lou. I didn't get this shit to myself. I never wanted it. Never wanted no parts of it, bro. It got me in so much trouble. It get me in trouble to today. But I got to wear it till I die. AZ gave me that name, bro. You only gonna call a spade a spade, bro. Mm -hmm. He ain't call Poe no gangster. How'd you and AZ meet? Well, really two ways. I had a girl that was his girl. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Harlem she shit. Come, she used to come see me all the time on a little chat moped. And she, I used to be like, give me that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Ride that shit for hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it was his the whole time. <laughs> but I ain't know this joker. Wow. He went for his bike yeah. and his bitch. Yeah, but I got both. So anyway, I go to the blood one night. I bees the bitch up in there. She got the diamond ring on. Mm. Shirley Temple curls. She's mm -hmm. looking good and grew up on me. I went to grab her. She said, I said, no. I said, what? I got a boyfriend. I said, a boyfriend? Your boyfriend. Anyway, so I wound up going to the restaurant one day for my mom's and shit. When I come out to the restaurant, there's a bunch of girls out there waiting on me. They like, hey, boy, hey, boy, so look, come here. So I'm like, right, you go with Lisa? You used to go with Lisa? I say, nah, nah, I don't know. But come to find out, this is AZ sisters. They teasing her because she must have told them she used to mess with me, whatever. Mm. So make a long story short, I go to a club one night. I see some Harlem niggas up in there. They get into it with some Brooklyn niggas. I always liked it to fight. I still do, but, you know, skinny niggas. It's just something about us with that fight and shit. <laughs> so I get it in with these niggas with the, against the Brooklyn niggas. They, they did some other shit. They took it to a whole nother level I wasn't even ready for. So when I seen the niggas again, they was like, yo, that's him right there. Yo, come here, man. They said, yo, you like to fight. They said, yo, man, the next time you see us in some shit, man, get the fuck out the way for you get murdered next time, shorty. So I, I like, looked at these niggas like, nigga, banged out with you niggas. This how you niggas talking? Greasy. Mm -hmm. But one of them liked me because I went all out. So, yeah, so he like, yo, you, you, you get money, you know how to get money. So I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Niggas fill my pockets up with drugs, threatened me, told me never go back where I was from. And I wound up being with Killers first before I met A. And uh, the Killers lived on the fifth floor. A lived on the first floor. So I used to be in the building working for the Killers and shit. And uh, they shit was slow. So all the customers used to come in there asking for AZ shit. But I didn't know who this nigga was. Mm. So one day they cast him and fuck that shit. They said, man, you got AZ shit? I said, yeah. They bought all my shit. I said, damn. So now everybody coming in? You got AZ shit? Yeah. 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 So one day, I stand there. Fat nigga come in. Nigga said, you got AZ shit? I say, yeah, nigga, grab me by the throat. And I'm AZ, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 wow. And that's how I met AZ, man. Wow. He, that's crazy. He took. Listen. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing, blood. Most advertising at this fight. <laughs> yeah, Real right? shit, blood. Real <laughs> shit. That's how I met this fat nigga, man. This nigga wanted to hurt me, bro. But listen, man, mm -hmm. he was always big, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm working for killers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that shit didn't mean nothing. Nothing. So. Uh, yeah, he grabbed me up. Yo, keep telling people you got my shit. I'm going to fuck you up. So I look at him. When he walk away, I say to myself, then I go tell Blue and these niggas, they going to fire his ass up, but they live in the same building. Mm. Thought about it. I said, nah, I ain't going to tell them. I know what to do. I got AZ's thing. Mm -hmm. I got AZ's thing. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And I got AZ's name. Come on back. I kept on doing it mm-hmm. and kept on doing mm-hmm. it until one day it was pouring down raining and I heard a car pull up with a system. Boop, 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 boop. And a nigga jumped out. It was him. I said, oh, this time we're going to fight because I've been still on my AZ shit. Mm-hmm. And the way he got out the car was raining, though. He don't call when that juice told him. I never left. <laughs> so, boom, right? He, I'm thinking he want to fight. He walks past me in the building and went in the house. So I stands out there in the rain, wait for him to come back out, cause I'm like, dog, I don't give a fuck. You don't have to kill you me, bro. Me this time. Yeah, yeah. like dead ass. Like I got your shit, nigga. Even though it ain't your shit, it's your shit though, cause I need to sell this shit, man. Mm-hmm. He came back out. He said, "Yo, let me talk to you for a second. I said, "What's up?" He said, "Yo, man, nah, listen, man. How how much them niggas pay you?" Mm. So I said, "Huh?" He said, "Yeah, man. How much do them niggas pay you, man?" I said, I'm all right. He said, how much do they pay you? I said, I get like 300 a week. He said, what? 300 a week? Short chicken. He said, yo, him, fold my shit up with work. I looked at the work and I looked at him. I said, so what's up with you? He said, keep it. Get in the car with me, take a ride. That nigga rolled me to the Bronx. And he went in the building, he came out, got back in the car, rolled me back to the block. But the whole time I'm saying to myself, I ain't never going back to Blue. And these niggas gonna kill me, man. So you don't cross the gun line, man. I had to for that money. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga gave me like a stack, man. Fuck that 300. Fuck that 300. He bought me. He knew. I out hustled his crew. Or maybe he didn't buy you. He recognized your value. He bought me. Mm-hmm. He knew. That he said it to me. He said, yo, you be out here, rain, sleep, snow. Mm. Every time I see you out here. Mm. I was just looking at him like. Dedicated field, nigga. I was hungry, bro. We still hungry. I'm what made you trust him, though? Because he, he, he could have been on some slick shit that, that day, too. You know what I'm saying? I was with killers, man. You ain't hear me? I, 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 they would have killed floor. him. You took a ride with him, you know, you said. They would have killed him if something would have happened to me, bro. These guys was killers, man. I'm not lying. Fifth floor. Yeah, mm-hmm. he lived on the first. They lived on the fifth, my nigga. Fifth floor. <laughs> they was killers. They was really killers. Well, it's, it's too late for you, though. If you're gone, you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered to came you. came with me. Mm, I hear you. I hear you. So, <clears throat> you meet him like that. Then yeah. from then, because he showed you something different or showed you love. You he gave me, he gave me, he gave me a shot. He showed me niggas was using me because I was 15. I was young. I was. I used to get every time I got caught. I always got caught with like a hundred, hundred bottles every time. Tall glass bottles, hundred bottles, two hundred bottles. R O R R O R R O R R O R R O R. Because I was too young. Hey yo, flip the script. You know, in the future we update our software. So A Z updated his streetwear. That's what happened. Yeah, I was able to go to AJ Lester's. Mm. Shit like that. I could buy my own AJs and my own overlaps and my own, you know, yeah. And still have 500 left over. Right. Fifth floor. You know what I'm saying? My own motherfucking valleys, the slip on joints, black gummy soles and all that. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, so, fly, so, nigga. So, so, right, <laughs> right. You realized they were using you in the AZ show. They wasn't know. really using me, but they was. Got it. Because they left me so much, I could do what I wanted to do: spend shit and run off if I wanted to, go oh. fuck with bitches. But I, I just never was no petty nigga. I you always stay loyal too. Yeah, yeah, respect that. That's crazy. So Where, how'd you meet? Um, yeah, yeah. how'd you meet? Um, Rich, Rich Porter now. I met Riz through, well, I met Riz through A. Mm. The first time I seen Rich, Rich was getting chased, man, by a connect. Rich was always into something, man. But I was just young. Mm-hmm. And me just being up under, fuck that, up under his, like, this nigga's deodorant, literally, like, you understand yeah. me? They used to call us the number 10. He was the zero, I was the one. That's how much, you know, you never seen him without me. You never see us apart. You dig what I'm saying? So I always heard shit, always watched shit. But, you know, Rich was always, Rich was way faster than A. Rich taught A the game. Professor X and the Magneto of hustling. Mm. <laughs> A just manifested better than all of them. He, David Blaine with the shits. Word. He, um, so, so. Rich was getting chased by a connect. And <laughs> what <done>. happened? <laughs> he, he ran off on them niggas. He got away. 
Nigga but became they, the connect that they started chasing. <laughs> right. Right. So, all right, so, AZ now. You working, you know, what, do you remember the day he got hit up and shit? The date? Or no, the, not the date, the, the day. Do you remember the date? Of course, I was with him. What happened? He didn't listen to me once again. The man never listened. He listened. Yo, bro, let me tell you something, man. You know, I I truly believe like A kept me with him like a security blanket. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Like he knew that I would do anything. He didn't have to tell me. He didn't have to ask me. I would do it. He knew this. But. But can you real quick, you know, hold, hold that thought. Can you say that was the gift and the curse though? He didn't have to tell you anything. You might have done something that got him upset that he might have had to. You know, this is himself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, listen, man. If A would have distanced himself from me back then, A wouldn't be here right now. And that's not to rule out the fact that with age, we outgrow shit. Nah, what it is is that... Certain niggas hustle different, man. Rich... He gonna be out when the sun rise, but you will not see him when that sun go down. Mm. Mm. A is unorthodox. You you can't really dictate A. And Poe, he's just so fucking sneaky, so you know, every <laughs> nigga got their own style. But um me, I fuck with the whores. I fuck with the crackheads. I fucked with the kidnappers. I fucked with the robbers. I fucked with the jail niggas. I fucked with the slums. I am the prince of the slums. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And me being like that is what kept certain niggas alive. Because whenever a nigga went to do something to a nigga, if I didn't know him, one of my crooks did. When certain niggas got certain money and they getting a certain type of money, they are nowhere to be found. It's only soldiers, man, nigga, and casualties of war, bro. Hmm. Soldiers. That's it. And I'm still a soldier. I'm just the older one. So he's General Lou now. I'm still learning. And I'm still teaching. Dog, this shit is all fucked up, my nigga. But I knew, like, I didn't had killers say to me, you know I don't like your crew. Mm. But you, you always been a good nigga. You always spoke. No matter who you was with, you always. And... Yeah, or I was always in jail with niggas, you understand what I'm saying? Or I was in the after hour spot, coked up out my mind, ain't been home in two weeks, got the same clothes on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm sleeping in hallways. You know what I'm saying? I got bags under my eyes. I'm with the shits. That's called authentic etiquette in the streets. That's the only reason why I'm able to do what I do and go where I go now. It's because I, I kept it the same. I've never changed. And I ain't seen him in 15 years. What up? Never changed, bro. This is all I know, man. You know, I got niggas that don't fuck with me because I fuck with niggas like this and niggas worse than this. And exactly. But at the end of the day, man, we all human beings, man. Ain't nobody perfect, bro. Perfect. You understand me? And I hate a nigga who all, who try to belittle a nigga or feel like he's better than a nigga. Bro, all the young niggas, all the little niggas, they all fuck with me. They only fuck with me because I've always fucked with them. Even when I was with a and I've always fucked with them. So I'm able to walk through these blocks that a and would never be able to walk through. I'm able to stand on these corners that a and would never be able to stand. I'm able to go in these burrows the Bronx, Webster, Washington, Southern Boulevard, Freeman and Jennings, Hoe Avenue. Anywhere I want to go, bro, where no niggas from Harlem is going, bro. 
And I'm, 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 I mean, I'm out there, bro. So, you know. New became a bridge over troubled waters. Yo, bro, let me tell you something, man. Prem, when Prem and them was locked up, you are not, yeah, Prem, because Prince was home at this time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My whole thing has always been connecting the dots, bro. And that's all I ever did was connect dots. And me connecting dots got me to where I am today. For real, I swear to God, my nigga. It, it, just like you right now, right? If I didn't know you right now from doing what you're doing and me just meeting you on the street or whatever, 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 and you told me that this is what you do, then my next thing would try to get you somebody to come over here and, and, and you understand? Flame your shit. Yeah, you understand? And and, and and hopefully you win and your shit take off and you be like, yo, that nigga gang salute. I remember when I ain't had nothing, that nigga came through. Look at me now. That's what I get off on, bro. Mm -hmm. That's where my thrills come in at, bro. Bridge over troubled waters. Don't cross them. You know One saying? love, no double cross. That's yeah. just it, bro. I don't really ask for nothing, bro. I ain't really looking for nothing, bro. I, I just try to just be real, bro. Just give it up. Just like I want a nigga to give it up with me, bro. Just keep it 1,000 with me, bro. So, so, so when the last he spoke to AZ, you ever spoke to him and told him how I you I just felt? spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. What are you talking about? They supposed to be doing the mob style series right now. All that shit is in the making. We got the clothesline. Mm -hmm. We got all kind of shit. I'm not jacking it. Mm -hmm. I'm jacking no friends. No friends, military. I jack mob style because I'm one of them. I help start that shit. I help get that shit to where it is today. Mm -hmm. But I'm not proud about it. I don't celebrate it. I don't listen to it. You know, it's just, yo, my nigga, I, I, I don't know how one of y'all would feel if if, if 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 you was me, man. You know, sometimes I be asking myself a little, man, maybe you just a little bit too bitter, like, my nigga, like, turn it down or not. But then when I get to thinking, I get back to, like, nah, fuck that shit, Lou. Mm -hmm. Like, you could be dead or in prison for the shit you did. Niggas never loved you, bro. And your thing is that <clears throat> you put a lot of work in. For the niggas you love and they left you for dead, basically. I just said that, bro. I could be yeah. dead with worms eating me, my nigga. With rain raining on me, snow snowing on me, bro. I could be in the ground, bro. And nobody would give a fuck. I just, I just, this crazy shit, bro, was fucked up for 11 years in Atlanta. Did two bids and all that, bro. Anything niggas check me, bro? Send me something, my nigga? One nigga, my nigga Thaddeus, drove a thousand miles to get me a visit. When he got there, you know what they said? New York don't get no visits. Mm. Get the fuck out of here. You want to leave him something? My nigga jumped back on the road. He tell you, listen, man. Before I went away, 06, whatever, whatever. 2004, brother. No, you went away 06, I went away 04, facts. However, whatever. Mm -hmm. I had an army, bro. And everybody was happy. Am I lying, Fox? Smiling faces. I got the deal with Sylvia Rome and all that. Went and got the studio, gave the check to niggas, told niggas to split the check up, niggas gave me a couple of dollars, and I was good, bro. Mm -hmm. I could have said, nah, this hundred, I'm taking 50. Here go 50 for y'all, y'all split, do what y'all do. But that's not a boy, it's a sucker. Mm. It's not a real nigga, that's a clown, bro. Mm. I don't do shit like that, bro. I'm not taking your money. I don't want what's yours, bro. I don't want what you earn. I don't want what you work for, bro. And this is what I'm fighting for right now, bro. I'm fighting for what's mine, bro. And what's yours? Whatever A got. Movie, book, music, documentaries, anything that has gangster loo in it, I should have a check. Intellectual properties and conversation. It's just as simple as that, bro. Why are you, why, 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 my nigga, I'm a gangster, bro. I, could, I couldn't even do that to my niggas when I got the check. For, this is just why I'm saying what I'm saying, bro. I could have easily said, listen, y'all niggas, 100,000, what? Who's seen 100,000? You seen 100? And everybody been like, nah, I ain't think so. Let's mm -hmm. keep working on some real gangster shit. I went to prison the next day. He came with the check to my crib. I was already on Rikers Island. I went to his check, but not only that, I went with a contract. 
We had a deal with Universal. We had uh, the American Gangster soundtrack, correct? We did it. We, we was we it. was the American Gangster. We before was the country G boys. We was on the wall and all that, boys. bro. Old man chism. Yeah, man, seriously, mm. like, yo, my nigga, like, yo, bro, my nigga, I'm so bitter because, yo, I got kids, my nigga. Right. And my, some of my kids is paying for the shit that I've done in my life, my nigga. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? My 18-year-old, my nigga. Yo, bro, I got to get my kids out of here. You know what I'm saying? I got to get right for my kids now, bro. So when you say he, they paying for it, meaning that your past is, they, they involve in, you know. It's not, it's, it's, it's some of that, but it's not that. It's that gangster lose your father? It's this. My 18-year-old, he Puerto Rican, but he got my last name. Okay. So they already know he my son. Mm -hmm. He done been upstate three times. Mm -hmm. At 13 years old, he went upstate. Mm -hmm. 15 months. 15 mm -hmm. months. 15 months. Come home at 17, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, uh, 16. So now he's 18. He's been doing just fine. But I had to talk to the people and tell them he's only been like that because I've been inside. Mm -hmm. I wasn't around. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm home, I got this. So they trusted in me, and ever since I've been home, I, he's good, you know. But Amen. he just caught a pistol case just recently, so I just went to court with him a couple of weeks ago. But this is the shit that I'm going through, and this is the reason why I be mad, because I could be dead or in prison, and niggas would just leave my kids like this, bro. Mm. When I know I'm a nigga, bro, Bro, I'm fighting right now to try to take do something for my nigga Bugs kids, AZ little brother. Mm. That's what all my no friend shit, all the music, all that shit is me oh. and him. Mm. And that's why I strive so hard. That's why it's so important for me to get this shit done. Cause I gotta get this man a tombstone. I gotta do something for this man, like and his daughter and his and his baby mother. Right. Do 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 you so <clears throat> You talking about like as far as like the books, residuals from things that that you know. But I can say that I can see why he now he I can't see. I don't agree, but he didn't put your name in those reasons. So maybe he didn't put your name in it. So he didn't. That's why he don't have to give it you the money. You understand? Your name is not in it. You 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 speaking from a standpoint? My as, name is not in what? Is your name in in in, in paid in full? They see your name in, in the movie. What do you mean, like the credits and things of that nature? Yeah, not no. I mean, talk about him in the movie. Nah, they talk about me in the book. They talk about me in everything. Yeah, I heard they talk about you in the book. Yeah, yeah. Everything, all and all, like, everything else. Yeah, but the but the movie. You think you think he did a chess move with the movie, like some slick shit? Nah, it was listen, man. A did dumb shit, bro. Mm, you said that earlier. You said right. that exact thing. He did a lot of dumb shit. He, he did. They did dumb shit, man. I first of all, you could be my nigga. God bless something happened to you. If I know what happened to you, and I know who did it to you, you on him. Not only am I on him, bro. I'm on it, bro. This faggot nigga whoop de whoop whoop did this to my nigga. When he come home, he's a dead man. Mm -hmm. Like yo, we on it, like like nigga. When A got shot the fuck up, whether he know it or not, but I'm going to say it for the camera, me, Poe, Rich, Black Nut, and T-Money, God bless the dead, rode around for days looking for the niggas who shot you up, A. So you didn't even have to do nothing but just stay in the hospital. It was going to get taken care of. Straight up, bro. I've been like this from day one, my nigga. I'm still the same, man. But well, let me keep, can I keep it real? Listen, but, but, but I'm hearing though, and I gotta ask you this. Do, do you take any accountability for your behavior that may have made him afraid to, 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 to be close? Do you take any accountability? Hell no, bro. Because your reason is I did it. I, whatever I did, I did it to protect you and make sure you were safe and for the sake of the, for the team or for the exactly. friendship. Exactly, that's what it's supposed to be about. Right. Flip, if you got a starting five, don't you need your center to function like a center? You're right, you're right. Mm. But also, when do we, like if somebody do distance themselves, when do we take, like, do we think to ourselves like, damn, maybe I did. He's like, he passionate about what he, he like, 
what I like about Lou, Gangsta Lou, with all due respect, I like the fact that his passion, that he's sticking to his guns. But at the same time, if you was to speak to AZ and he would say, well, I talked to Lou. I told Lou man, plenty of times. Or, wh who would have to agree with A? It's just uh, that side and the absolute truth. And sometimes we'll never know, bro. Respect. The yeah. casualties mm -hmm. didn't have those options. You're, the people caught up in this shit didn't have an option. They didn't have no control over what took place. Right. Time moved on. You're right. I agree. Spill milk sense. is spilled, clean it. You still clean want cereal it. or not? Move forward. Come I got on, what you're bro. saying. Yeah, I get it. And that's what I've been doing. With this no friendship. But see. And I like the no friendship. I, I saw it. I listened to it. Thank you, bro. Yeah. But see, like, it, we would not be having this conversation right now if mm -hmm. you didn't want to have it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? True. Because I don't walk around talking about A. I don't, when people talk to me, try to come at me about A, I just say he good or whatever, whatever, whatever. Or I might say I ain't fucking with A right now. Or we ain't fucking with each other right now. Or I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, because when I listen yeah. to Info Minds, I, salute to Info Minds, when I listen to them, I didn't hear you say anything what you're saying to me now. Yeah. See, they ask me questions way different than what you ask me, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <'cause> we... <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you right. You right. You know what I'm saying? Split the script, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, facts. And the energy facts. and the energy is way, way different. You understand? What I got saying? you. So <laughs> it's like you know, I, cause I didn't hear that. I'm listening. I'm listening I'm now. Listening. I'm not, it's like and I'm then, like, damn, then, fuck did something happen recently? You, got, you yeah. gotta remember, like. This is phone shit I'm doing with them. I'm doing this shit raw with you, bro. Mm. And you don't want cookie cutter material. No, you want the raw, flip the script you situation. Yeah. I'm doing this shit over the. I'm doing phone, um, interviews, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. You can't really get my shit like that. I'm all laid up. I'm smoked up. My bitch on the side of me. I keep telling her <laughs> shut up, move over. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga might have been motherfucking tired. Word, got a lot of shit going on. So yeah, but. I tell you what, like this, right? One of my next goals I'm gonna do is I have to explain shit to people about individuals. And what I mean by what I'm saying is AZ was something like a Obama of the streets. Mm, wow, wow. Do you understand? That's how I look at A. He's like a Obama of the streets. And the reason why I could say that is there's people that love him and then there's people that hate him. Right. There's people that talk highly of him and then there's people that talk low about him. But one thing they can't say is that he wasn't a good motherfucker. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying, bro? 100%. So even me, gangsta Lou, even when I say what I say, I say what I say because I feel I can. I have rights to because I paid my dues. Right. I'm not saying what I'm saying out of anger. I'm not saying what I'm saying out of talking down on him. Mm -hmm. It's 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 part of me being who I am, and it's facts, and it's just basically it is what it is, bro. Like what you see is what you get, bro. But you you don't you don't co-sign no snitching. Never bro. did in my life. Okay, but then earlier, a couple of minutes ago, you said that even when I heard it on, a, on a, like I said, I heard it in an interview. But earlier, you said that you know he told on. His brother-in-law. He I did. I yeah. don't condone the snitching. Oh, you, so he, he was he condemned for that? Or you? Of course he's been. Okay. You you watch the joints. I mean, yeah. the dude with the beard and all that, calls air rat and all that, bro. The tell dude you with the beard. You talking about Philly? Yeah, but this is what I'm saying, bro. It's like this, man. <laughs> On some G shit, man. If A didn't do that, he'd be the king of New York. Why did he tell? Why do you think he told instead of having he somebody? Didn't, he A didn't have no choice. Let me tell you something, bro. Oh, oh, this is different. He didn't have a choice. Let me tell you something, man. The game could be like a job. 
And what I mean by that is, it's not for everybody. I'll give you more. I wouldn't have did it. He wouldn't have did it. Mm -hmm. But you have people. Okay. Just like with the Kevin Charles interview with the Funk, Funk Master Flex. Flex. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See the dude that was with him? Mm -hmm. Remember when the dude did the scenario about the old lady? Yes. Dude was coming in the store, robbing the store. With, ah, mm -hmm. ah. <clears throat> Remember when he said, well, rules don't apply to her because she's what? A civilian. A, ci a civilian citizen. Yeah. That's exactly what A is. He's never wanted to be a gangster. But he's. But he, oh, wait, mm -hmm. slow down. Mm -hmm. He's never taught no gangster shit. And if you, if I, came around A and said, hey, I just shot a nigga. You know what he wants? Yeah, yeah. Um, go right there, and when I come back, he gonna be gone. Bro, you ain't heard him talk no gangster shit in none of the music, bro. You ain't seen him talk no gangster shit in the movie. He's never portrayed to be no street nigga. No so gangster. that means that street rules don't apply to him. He is what? A civilian. Okay. What A that did sense, was... That makes sense. What A did, bruh, he jumped in the game, right? And he changed it. He made it possible for niggas to eat. Because when we came in the game, only a handful was eating. Mm. A changed the whole game. The bottles was a hundred dollars. Ninety-nine was a short, and the bottles was this tall and they were glass. Sitting in class and bust the bottle. He said, no, we not doing that. We selling them for twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drop the problem. Look, the look, problem. look, look. Niggas said they got to be the stupidest motherfuckers in the world. Them mm -hmm. niggas ain't getting no money. Mm -hmm. But what they don't didn't know and what they probably still don't know is if you sell yours for three hundred and I sell mine for a hundred and fifty or a hundred. I'm making more money than you, bro. You, 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 you gonna sell more? Your money already. Nah, my flip is first, my nigga. Every time mm -hmm. you get to your second, I'm on my fourth. Right. Like money's first. Yeah. So it, it, it took a while for niggas to understand what it was. Some niggas was mad because they was like, yo, man, now we can't eat because now niggas is going over there. But then everybody did what? They played the game. Mm -hmm. Because now what niggas was doing was niggas was taking those bottles somewhere else and selling them for what? Double and triple. Okay. Mm. So that's why I could say he was like the old bomber in the streets, bro. He gave niggas phones. Gave niggas Medicaid. Take two hundred dollars of your money back. He took care of the hood, bro. But if you, if you, well, hold up. If you, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you, if you a civilian, but you get into a game with gangsters, man, you become a part of that. Nah. Obama's not a gangster, but presidential candidates he is. Look at Trump. Yo, bro, listen, my nigga. How could you say that when you got niggas that's telling every day that was supposed to be gangsters, bro? You just asked about Mr. Untouchable. He fucked the game up for everybody over a bitch. I mean, bro, listen, bro, like, this is what y'all do, right? The shit y'all talk about is the shit I live, right? So, only thing I could do is just give you just straight answers that I know from not what I watched, not what I heard, but from experience. Interesting, okay. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck it how it come out, fuck what you hear. It's coming from the heart. You understand what I'm trying to tell y'all, bruh? Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and waste y'all time. I'm definitely not going to do it for camera because I know the little niggas got to watch this. And I know other people got to watch this. I know, who, I, 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 bro, I, I got to be straight about whatever I do, bro. I got to die this way. Mm -hmm. That's just it, my niggas. Y'all niggas ask for it. This is what y'all going to get. Straight, st straight up shit, bro. None of that lying None of that fake shit. If I say something about A, it is what it is. Like, I could truly say this man was like the Obama on the street because this man took care of so many motherfuckers, bro. He took care of so many motherfuckers, my nigga. And I, and I, I, I could say that. 
So mm-hmm. I could say things about him because I feel like he didn't do right by me. But like, he did like, right by everybody. Like bail you out? Yeah. But see, that shit I could look past. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I could look past shit like that because th- th- his good outweigh his bad. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's real. That's I real. That. That's real. You know what I'm saying, That's bro? Uh, I'm bitter, but I, I know in my heart this man's good outweigh his bad, bro. I would have to bang with these niggas in prison about this man, bro. Mm. Because I know they didn't have to do that. So what kind of conversation you would have with, with him right now if, if y'all said I was sitting down on well, the couch? Where well, is he? Me and A don't talk like this. See, A is in a different type of place right now. Well, what kind of conversation would, would you want to have with him? You know what? Me and A's had this type of conversation, mm-hmm. but you know, A's been shot up real bad, man. You gotcha. know, he took three to the head, man. You know? So, I say that to say he's not the same AZ, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Three to the head. He's not, he's not going to embrace it the way that you want him to embrace it. You kind of see what I'm saying? I got you. Mm-hmm. But he's humble. He don't want to be no gangster. Right. That's the, you know, this is the shit. Like, yo, bro, let me just say this to you, bro. I would respect you more if you said to me, yo, Gangster Lou, you see that nigga over there with that red bandana? And I say, yeah, bro, what's up? Yo, Lou, man, I'm scared of that nigga. Mm-hmm. I would respect you for that. Versus me trying to be like, I got you. you see, yeah, yeah. Then you trying to be hard and you know you're really scared of him. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because all I would tell you is who, him? You scared? Don't be scared of that nigga, bro. I'm going to show you how to handle that. Mm-hmm. And then you won't be scared of nobody no more. You understand what I'm trying to show you, bro? Right. But, yeah, bro, th- 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 this, is, I mean, this is just what it is, my nigga. Like, so the pay the full movie, the, the movie how, how accurate do you think that it, it, the movie was? How great do I think it was? Accurate. How accurate do you think it is? On a scale of one to ten, should I could say like maybe a five? Really? Wow, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Why a five? You think it should have been a ten? But I gotta blame you also still again because you said you was there helping. Come on, next I was man. there one time, bro. Out of all those times, they can't do that to you, man. Hold on, hold on, he was there on. helping and all. At that. my brother's de- uh, defense, he didn't edit. I wasn't he had there, nothing to do bro. with the executive editing. He oh, wasn't yeah, in that green good. screen yeah, room. He gave his free opinion that they asked for when the man thought he was dead. He brought the shit to live and the nigga still left for dead. What's up, Peter Four? What's happening? Mm. Yeah, bro. I didn't. Yo, bro, it's, deep, body, it's, it's deeper than that with me, bro. I don't have to be part of some shit that I created. Right. You mean you want God to jump out the Bible and say, hey, I'm right here? <laughs> I'm, mad, I, I'm mad that I'm, I'm mad. It's not a pop-up audio book. I'm, I'm, not, good, I'm, I'm, mad that I'm, I'm mad that I'm doing the shit that I'm doing now. Today. But it got to be told because if not, if some shit happen to me or whatever, whatever, all they going to do is conquer off of my story, bro. Mm. Until the lion learns the right, the hunter will always be glorified. Mm. We go to this, this, this. Don't worry about it. I'm charging. <laughs> so, 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 no, no, no. All right, but you, because I want to move on. I want to move on from, from the AZ joint. But you did say, you spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. I did. About, about the Mob Style series. Styles joint. Yeah, we got the series. And how. You, and fucked up. He done fucked up already with me. I'm mad at him. What did he say, Lou? He fucked, the, he fucked up, bro. He is just a bunch of dumb shit, my nigga. Long as they have my check, you I don't. It. I don't care, mm-hmm. cause it's not happening no more, bro. No friends. Real shit. Was he talking to you peaceful? Like he was trying to persuade you to to give the okay? Like you know, let's do this. Nah, and- he needed. He wanted me to direct the shit and all that's because he know I got the brains. I can remember everything. I can mm-hmm. tell. Don't tell nobody. We charge it. <laughs> How did the whole mob style thing start with, with y'all? Like the, the, the whole music career and everything start with y'all? Right after A got shot up in the wheelchair, fucked up. You know what I mean? Couldn't move around. I used to have to chauffeur him around and shit. Start talking that rap shit. I'm looking at him like he crazy. He, I remember he told... <laughs> he t- <laughs> yeah, he t- I, I went to visit him one day. I ain't gonna lie, but that shit had me tight. 
That nigga was like, yo, Lewis. I said, what's up, fat kid? He said, it's over. I said, what you mean? He said, I'm selling all the cars. I'm getting rid of all the jewelry. Everything's gone. It's over. I looked at the fat kid. I said, hey, is you crazy? We ain't fucking no more bitches. We ain't doing nothing. He said, and that chain you got on, stop wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that chain off you got on. <laughs> Stay off the block. Wow. I looked at the fat kid. I said, all right. Nigga, I left that motherfucking hospital. I went to the block. Motherfucking Richard Porter, Poe, Black Stan was standing there. I walked right into the fucking kitchen, jumped right in the flour, right into the grease, right into the pan. As soon as I walk up, motherfucking detective car circled the block. Mm. That shit circled the block the third time. Niggas jumped out with their guns pointed. Niggas walked up. I got to looking around, cause I know it ain't me. I'm a goldfish. These is whales with me. Mm. <laughs> Some niggas walked up on the goldfish and grabbed the goldfish, B. I said, wait a minute, B. I wanted to tell them niggas so bad, y'all got the wrong guy, B. Who y'all yeah, looking for? Like, who's y'all looking for? Right. But Rich, Rich wasn't jacking it. Rich said, yo, what'd he do? They said, you want to go with him? He said, no. They said, shut the fuck up. Mind your business. Rich said, we following y'all. Man, it was the kidnappers, man. Mm. The abduction boys. Preacher and his niggas. Not him, but his niggas. Mm -hmm. Niggas took me all the way up to 233rd and Van Cortland behind a construction site. Told me to take my shoes off, took my chain. They told me not to wear that shit, see? <clears throat> Same day I see him talk to this man, I got kidnapped. He just told me that shit, bro. Nigga been through a lot of shit, man. That's another you ain't, reason. You ain't think he had nothing to do with that? You, you just, fat kid? Yeah. AZ? Yeah. AZ don't do violence, bro. Yeah, so why? He would just say, you think he spoke it into existence? No, he was giving me a warning. Yeah, my dumb warning ass didn't he he Yeah, man. you're trying to tell you, you to change that, up. You see that clown case they got? Mm -hmm. That big ass clown? Mm -hmm. I had that when I was a little nigga. I was the first nigga with that clown, and my shit was flooded with diamonds. And then K Slay must have seen my shit. And Emulated. He went in, yeah. But I'm the first nigga with that big, stupid crown, and I'm a little young, skinny nigga. My shit was flooded with diamonds. So you, oh man, Slay! <laughs> so you, right, you got you got kidnapped, then you, you you got back home. Then what? Music came after that, or? Yeah, I mean, A got out the hospital. Nigga said he wanted to do the music. Went and bought the little mic shit, hooked mm -hmm. it up to the joint, started rhyming a little bit. I still wasn't jacking that shit. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time, and them niggas had about maybe three songs done, maybe three or four songs done before I got on that shit. I got on the first joint was for the honeys, man. No, I played for keeps. I didn't, man. A didn't believe I could do that shit. I went in the in the booth and did that shit without no paper, no pen. I ain't write shit. Yeah. I just wanted to show him I could do it. Mm hmm You say, yo, where your rhyme at, man? I said, nigga, it's in my head. No, no, I'm a, where your rhyme at? <laughs> that nigga was tripping. <laughs> Facts. So uh, I, I definitely heard heard in the interview also that you guys feel like y'all, you know. Uh, Responsible for a lot of the, the 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 hip hop swag and the style and all that. We started that shit, bro. All the shit yeah, they, as well, yeah. all the shit they driving, all the shit they wearing, the Rolexes, the, the Chris streets, style. The streets always watch the hustlers, not the rappers. All right. that Curtis Blow didn't make you want to get fresh. The nigga up the block did. All right, man. They know it, man. Who the first person you you, you saw that that stole y'all um, style? Yeah, swag. I wouldn't say nobody you stole say our style, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody has a story to tell, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just how they tell it and the nigga who's telling it, man. Mm. Bottom line. The thing is, too, is that um, I see that there's a lot of pain when you talk about it, being honest. Yeah, bro, I, I mean, got you, a lot you, of you shit, do, bro. Like, like PTSD, sort of. Like you go into a whole... 
post traumatic stress disorder moment. You, you you go into a whole thing. I can see it bothers. Yo, you know, it's it funny you, you say that, right? Yo, you know what's the dude that do do the do the what's that dude who who got the show? I don't watch TV. Wait, wait, wait. Shorty, shoddy man. What's his name? Charlemagne. Oh, That's Charlemagne. his name. I think I, I think I go through that shit. He got. I really wanted to holler at him mm-hmm. and find out some of the symptoms he got. The diagnosis. I talked to you about that shit, right? But you told me to stay away from him because he might play games with me, and I might have to wig out on him. So warnings, warnings. Nah, because I really was gonna get at the nigga and try to holler at him on some real serious shit. Right. And then he and then a few other niggas that know me was like, yo, Lou, he going to play with you. Uh, what do you so, mean by play with you? What do you mean I don't that? know. What y'all was it's trying to- It's called placate. Basically be passive, dismissive. That's Deal with you, everything but the topic at hand. The wait, focal point. Wait, wait. Nah, he, clown. Like, he clowns he, at the he, wrong time. He is, but I feel like if, if, if y'all spoke man to man on the side, I don't think he would do that. But on the side, it's not good for TV. We need this on TV. No, I don't man. need it on TV. That ain't what you I want. with that problem, Lou. But I needed to. I'm talking about me Lou right now. You trying? One eight hundred. Lou need help. <laughs> no, I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> no, like I, 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 know he, I didn't know he suffered from PTSD. Nah, no, 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 I, I seen him one day. Do. Listen, man, y'all niggas tripping, man. <laughs> I seen a man one day, mm. right, talking about it on a. On, I think it was on a news station or whatever, whatever. I was in the crib, and I was just looking at that nigga, and I said, man, the shit he was. Um, he was describing the shit. I was just looking at that nigga. I said, man, I maybe need to talk with this nigga, man. So I got with radio. I'm like, yo, man, nigga, you might have to get in touch with that nigga, man. I might need to talk with that nigga. Because, you know, I've been through a lot of shit. My mom's died while I was in jail. All kind of shit, man. I had to go to my wow. mom's funeral shackled up, bro. Facing 30 to life, bro. Why Why? Why did you? Let me ask you a question. Um, <clears throat> you said that you're the only gangster Lou. Nobody else was named Gangster Lou? They didn't call the Lou Sims guy Gangsta Lou? No, he's Lou Sims. There's only one Gangsta Lou. I didn't, yo, bro, like I said, I didn't give myself that name. Mm. I didn't even want it, but mm. I damn sure earned it. Baby Louie, Boogaloo, the streets Word. crowned him Gangsta. I, I, I earned that name. They, the, the streets ain't going to let another nigga call himself Gangsta Lou. He going to get it. Mm. They ain't jacking that. If you are who you say you are, you got to show and prove. Mm. I heard that, um... Let me ask you about Harlem real quick. And this is something that, you know. You know, I was talking to uh I was I was talking to Cam one day. You know what I mean? Shout out to Cam, very knowledgeable man. And the stories that I was listening to and that I heard, basically, and the stories that I'm aware of, is and even from the documentaries, like a lot of people could do something to somebody, and then when they do it, they're still allowed in certain areas. Why do you think that is? Do something like what? Tell on a nigga? Not tell. No, not tell. Well, I'll pull home, so you know what I mean. But but these dudes, see, bro. Uh, we talking about if somebody hurts somebody, they still able to cut. Like, well, let me tell you. I heard about the big L thing. But let me just say this to you. Situation that happened. Nigga went around that, kicking the candle lights and all but, that. But let me just no, say, about. But let me just say something to you, bro. It's like this, bro. Anybody could get it. You know what I mean? There's no toughest nigga. You know what I mean? Mm. We, we, we all bleed. We all could die. You understand mm. what I'm saying, right. bro? So it's just like niggas say poles running around, this, that, and the third. What is your definition of running around? Because mm. my definition of running around is being seen everywhere. About. If you're not seen everywhere, you're not running around. You selectively pop. Now, if yeah, if you're doing that, then you're hiding. Mm. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, bro? Mm-hmm. So you got niggas that kick over candles and this, that, and the third. These niggas is hiding, bro. These niggas is not niggas that's going to be standing on that corner and it's say, yeah, I kicked this candle over. What's good? I'm right here on 112. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You understand what I I'm see, saying? I see what you're saying. Niggas is doing pussy shit, my nigga. And, 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 and. Like I, I said, bro. I feel sorry for my, like, not feel sorry, but I, I wish the young niggas a lot of luck, man, and my boys, my nigga, because mm-hmm. niggas got this shit fucked up. Niggas got niggas really thinking that it's okay to kill your man mm. over money, over whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Like this is this is what's going. Yo, my nigga, so many niggas dying right now in Harlem, my nigga. Every day, new niggas is dying in Harlem, bro. I'm just, I, I, I've been I've watched this shit flip over and over and over again. I ain't never seen it like this. Little niggas is dying in Harlem, bro. You hear me, my nigga? Why you think it's like that now? Because these little niggas is jacking certain niggas, inflating certain niggas' style. Influence. Yeah. yeah. It, it is. Listen, my nigga. It's just like this, bro. You know, it's just like a nigga who work a nine to five and might see niggas like us on the corner. He gonna walk by us with his son. Mm-hmm. And he gonna tell his son, yo, you see them on the corner? Those is bombs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better stay in school or you gonna be like them. Bombs on the corner. Mm -hmm. So you better stay in school. Mm -hmm. School is where it's at for you. Mm -hmm. So this is what the little nigga does. He goes to school School. and does what his father told him to do. But what happens when dad come home breaking shit up? And mom say, honey, what happened? And he tell her, I lost my job today. What do you do now? Because you don't know how to do with them niggas on the corner talk that you talked about when you walk by with your son all the time. Mm -hmm. So now what do you do? You go back to your job, you kill everybody. And then kill yourself. Out of being frustrated because you ain't getting more money coming in the family. And not only that, you looked at us as bad, but we really survivalists. Yes. Hands-on survivalists. All right. This is what we do. Mm. As of right now, the crackers, they're only mad not at what we do. They're mad because they can't do what we do. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Mm. A nigga got to work 100 years to get a pension or whatever, whatever, where it might take another nigga two, six months, my nigga, to get that same money. Right. Or drive that same car. Or wear that same Rolex. So this is when they start building the laws. Hello. They pull up on the side of you. They see you driving a Bentley. They face screw up. What the fuck is this young nigga doing? You've been probed. You've been profiled. You know what I'm saying? You Automatic drug that. dealer. This, that, and the third. Woo, woo, woo. Nah, we survivalists, bro. We know how to make a mountain out of a grain. What Pac said 22 years ago, police get jealous when they see on your mobile phone. Sorry, you know, so, I, I don't mean to say this right here, man. But you know what's so crazy with the paid and full shit now? You look like the nigga. I, I was sit, sit. You look like that. I think that's I think that did that on purpose. I don't like that shit. We got to talk to them niggas. What? They make you look like the nigga that clap hey, up current. Yeah, I don't like the that. that I'm trying to be funny. Shit. Yeah, I, I don't I like that shit. <laughs> right? You, right? I'm going to tell you who I was supposed to be. I was looking at him or, or, or Mitch. I was supposed to be the little nigga when Poe shot the nigga in the ass and took the chain off his neck and put it in the Now you shine the little nigga. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's gotcha. who I was supposed to be. Nah, he look, he looked crazy. He looked even worse. Nah, you can. That'll be. The nigga at, who changed at the, the image. Nigga who, we talking about the role. I'm talking about the yeah. nigga who changed. He put the chain the, on, on the little nigga neck, neck and the little nigga rolled nigga. off. Yeah. The little nigga didn't look bugged out. He looked. Uh, you, you talking about the nigga who he shot? No, the nigga who put, put the chain on. He looked bugged out. He like a young nigga. Yeah. Well, He's yeah. observing the block and learning the ways. No, it wouldn't have been like that because I was already in the shit before. Right, Pope. right. And I get you though. You understand what I'm saying? And and and. and let me ask you a question. Last question. I'm going to move on from him and, and talk about you getting shot. Niggas is coming back to you and telling you that this nigga is talking about you. Who? Yeah, they, they he not talking about me. Because he can't talk about me to niggas because niggas ain't going to jack that. You know, he's whispering to bitches and soft niggas and it's, it's, it's spreading it around. And what is he saying? That you ain't introduced him to AZ? I'm not boogal I'm not gangsta Lou and boogaloo this that and the third. Yo, you've been away too long, bro. Trying to be funny. I pull up on any corner wherever he at. I swear on my dead mother I will. By myself. Wherever he at, I'll pull up on his corner, bro. I'm saying this shit live, bro. By my fucking self. This man know I'm fucking crazy. He's nothing like me. I'm telling you, bro. You ask AZ. He tell you. Ain't none of them like me, bro. None of them. So niggas is just scared of him because of... I don't know why. I ain't never seen him in no yards. I ain't seen him in no jails. I ain't seen him in no mix-ups. I ain't seen him in nothing, bro. 
Freddy Krueger is at his most powerful point when you're sleeping. Yo, yo, yo. Like, it's an illusion, bro. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, we can't take away credit if he put work in. He put credit work can in. be discredited. Well, That's put, why he's a yin work in that, bro. You mean have know work done? Listen, bro, police is killing us all. Who killing them? Bro, I don't know, bro. You never had this conversation. Let me tell you something, bro. Mm. Let me just say this to you. True about the police. Right? I told you from day one, you asked me why I never answered, right? And I told you because I'm always in jail, right? Because mm -hmm. I told you I'm always in jail, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that, uh, uh, why ain't these other niggas talking about they always in jail? Mm. If you so real. Come on, Queens, flip, flip sides. Why the jail niggas don't know you? If it, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, what's your I'm den just, number? Where'd yo, you be? Like, yo, bro, what, what tour you went on? All like, on, where, where, where why, you at? Why the killers don't know you? They know your story, but what, what, what nigga could say? Yo, I remember you, me and you, yeah. Uh, as soon as you get to the yard, bring your paperwork. Uh, uh, mm. Yo, my nigga, like Mando, Mando. Yo, bro, Could you get to the jail or who in here? Uh, yo, my nigga, you let me tell yard, you something, my nigga. Bring your paperwork. I don't give a fuck about what these other niggas jack and what they like and this down the uh, gangster Lou and who rock with me. We gonna stand up. We not gonna bend over for nobody. Bro. No friends. We not doing that, bro. I promise you on God we not, man. Not after all I've been through. It's I'm not gonna movie. do it. What? <sighs> so what should have been added to the movie to, to make it more than more than the five? Gangsta Lou. Gangsta Lou. Gangsta Lou. I just want to say it's so much that ten blood. It's so much shit. I want to know what's so much shit. I want to know what's missing. Gangsta Lou. He said you said from one through ten, he gave you the five. Yeah. The other five is the five. Gangsta Lou. The other five is the five. Right. What are we mm. talking about? Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. Bottom hey, bro, read my blogs, read any of that shit that's on my shit on my gram. If I lie, say anything, I niggas gonna speak on it. Yo, Lou, nah, that ain't that's official. Yeah, you, that's yeah they gonna yah yah my shit. I never shit. heard that. Yeah, yeah. my shit like that. What yeah. does Boogaloo mean? What, 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 what they came with that name for? Shit above the rim. <laughs> yeah. Who gets clapped and who does the clapping at the end of above the rim? <laughs> Nigga Boogaloo shot me, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Boogaloo's worse than Gangsta Lou, man. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was shocked he said that dumb shit. But you know, they do dumb shit. They say dumb shit. That's some dumb ass shit. Like Donald Trump being president right now is some dumb shit. Right. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let, let, me, let me ask you a question. They said that allegedly. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Like I said, shout out to... Info mind, <sighs> but I listen to because I don't listen to shit. But now, deep, deep, <laughs> yeah, I had to take a deep breath. Now, on now, 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 I try to, I try to, you know, I used to do a lot of shit off the, off the whim. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people was mad, but now I try to do research, driving, listening to shit out of respect. Mm -hmm. Voice is very pause. Flip, you can't try to do research. Either you did or you didn't. There's no gray area with knowing or not knowing. There's no gray area, Flip. There is gray area. I tell you why, nigga. You know you I tell don't. you why about trying to do research. Oh, boy. Here you go. Try to do. When you do full research, you cover every corner. Nah, you look for details, specifics. Okay. You're lying. I'm not lying. That's, 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 that's an opinion base. No, no, no. We're rebuttaling. <laughs> That's an opinion, man. Pass me but, the tree because you're rebuttal with me. Fox, it. You, you, you have a point, but I'm saying when I said try and like, you know. Bro, you rushing, try to on, fail. Let me finish, my nigga. You ain't start, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, Fox, stop playing, Fox, Fox. Come on, man. I like you. Chill out, man. Right, Let good. me finish my shit. So try to get my, the best, try to get the best information I can to come in by listening to different things and get the best information. So you was on your April O'Neil. Facts. So they said that allegedly um, the guy... For, for the Ninja Turtles? Nah, April Nibbles the chick, the anchor. But I'm for Fox the, for, 5. For, I'm in the streets for you. For, for the, for the, <laughs> I'm flipping the script for Flip. But hold on, hold on. April O'Neil was from the Ninja Turtles. Facts. The anchor woman. Yeah, chill out, man. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm on what? some fucking, um, um, what yeah, anchor man? I'm on some Fox 5 news shit. All right, but Fox 5, I, I, I single-handedly hijacked the whole network. Cause yeah, I'm hands on. Don't say, don't, don't, don't give it to him, G. I, 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 I know you like him. I know, hijacked I know. the whole network. I, like, I know you like him, G. I know you like him, G. I know you like him. For I the like record, him. for the record, Fox Five means Father Cipher Unknown. I am the five in all five boroughs with the Big Five. Mm. That's triple five. Stay sharp, y'all. Mm. Wow. They said they said they said they said they said allegedly that some people um what's the YTC or, or Yo, top crew. Yeah, you got shot. Yeah, guy. Where were you? Can you tell us that day? Can you bring us to that day? 
Where was I at when I got shot? Yeah, like you bring to that day. Huh? No, I'm pointing no, point at the mic. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. To figure out who you're at. No, no, the mic. I'm pointing at the mic so you could tell. Yeah, but can you uh, bring us to the day when you got you shot? Want me to back up? Yeah, when you're talking to the mic. Yeah, so I can hear you because this is deep. Yeah. So what's up, bro? When you got shot, <laughs> that when he cool. Like he, went, he turned his shit off. Come on, that Lou turned his shit off. Come on, Lou. Yeah, don't swag, don't swag on me, Lou. Come on, my nigga. I swear to God, bro. I thought that somebody was behind me. Nah, 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 nah. Every time you looked, I looked. Yeah, facts. You on point. You on point. You on point. You on point. So then you say I need you on the mic. So I got back to the mic. I got you. I got you. So this is how I do things seem bugged out, but I'm. I sincere, love it, though. I love bro. it. Man, I love it. No, no, man. you solid. You solid, sincere, man. Bro. From the whole way, man. I already, you know what I'm saying? Word. What happened that day when what you got shot? Got, oh. All right, I was on 3-2 hustling, doing what I'm supposed to do, and my man came to get me because he had a beef. Mm. I didn't ask him what the beef was about. I just went geared up, and then I went with him to his crib so he could gear up. And in the mix of me waiting for him to come out his house, the niggas we was going to see came and saw us. And I was the only nigga outside at that time. So I wound up getting shot up by them niggas. And everybody ran and left me. What do you mean everybody ran and left you? You know, me? like Nipsey and in, in the parking lot. They, they run, they, they leave me. you. It was like seven niggas. Niggas left me. It happens. Man, man, it's not, I don't know. You can do a lot. You left me for dead, man. I got the fuck up, though. Like, man? And I had my heat on me. But you couldn't get to couldn't it. Couldn't get to it. That's vulnerability at its finest. When I did the interview, I kept it real. I told them niggas, yo, listen, bro. You know, the only thing. Oh, hello? Where you at? You're not in your house. This is now the Fox 5 show. What's happening? What's popping? You Gang sure you in your Gangsta house? Gangsta took an intermission. All right, so answer your... So why you wasn't answering your phone when I was just calling you? I just... Yo, how many... Yo, I just called this fucking phone like three times, man. No strings attached. Anyway. Yo, um... She this camera proof that he did that. You did what, bro? No, I'm just saying, Paul, man, I'm just being in your business. Why, bro? I did something wrong? No, you did something right, but I'm saying, I, I don't mean to be no, that's not my business, but she said that you ain't calling, but there's camera proof that you called her three times. There's camera proof you did it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, she tried, yeah, it's camera proof. Fuck yeah, is Paul, she talking about, Paul, man? Paul, me, my, my business, but I'm just saying. Nah, hey, you hey, right. Him and that. And I got wish me. you could send that shit to me right now so I could send it to this bitch, but I'm not even going that far. <laughs> Let's go. Where we was at with this yeah, shit, so bro? You said, you, you said niggas top left top you. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Yellow top crew, cool, you got yeah, hit. Yeah, 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 what about and it? And oh, and yeah, and I told them niggas. I say, um, because I had to be real with them niggas. I say, man, listen, bro. You know? Only thing I'm really mad about, no, I said the only thing I was really mad about at that time is that I got shot first, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had to keep it real. Like, my intentions was to come shoot y'all. Y'all niggas shot me first. Bad game of tag. Yeah. I got it first. Well, who was, so, so, so you don't really know, and you, they were just a crew in Harlem, a get money crew? They were some Spanish rich niggas. I did the interview with these niggas. I just did an interview with them boys, man. They about to do a movie on them niggas, man. They bring me my check. With the Wild Cowboy joint? The same niggas, man. That's my neighborhood. What, um, what? Oh, Ave, Cypress. Nah, 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 nah. These niggas is from 109th in Columbus. Oh, Lord. And you did an interview with them? I did an interview with them niggas. Infamous Minds, bro. Just like a couple of months ago, man. I did the interview, man. It's on your shit, bro. It's on YouTube. But when you said with them, with the niggas that, that's part of that I crew? I did the interview with the niggas who shot me, bro, on Infamous Minds. Wow. Yes, I did. Gangsta. The, nigga, the, 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 the niggas, you know, they had to twist my arm because they, they knew I wasn't really jacking that shit, but then they came at me real. They said, Lou, do it for the kids. So I said, what you mean for the kids? What the kids got to do with this shit? And they said... Lou, man, somebody got to let the kids know, man, it's all right, you know, to have wars and casualties with people and still... Bygones can be bygones. Right. 
They don't we just to, bygones. They don't have to just kill. I mean, listen, don't the scab heal up? They don't have yeah. to kill. You gonna keep picking at it? You know what I'm saying? No. Word. So that's, they, and, then they, and then they was like, yo, and they doing a movie, you know what I mean? They gotta give you a check, because I'm like, probably one of the only niggas that lived out of all the niggas they didn't kill. But, you know, them niggas know, like, when I was in the hospital, you know, they was trying to get them bullets out of me. They brought them niggas in there, my nigga, with the hoodie still on. Tried to get me to tell on them niggas. The niggas, them niggas themselves tried to get me to tell on them. They were like, oh, you sure it ain't us? They wanted me to tell. They'd rather be in jail. They knew I was going to hang on the street. That's just facts. And I said, no, it wasn't them. And the text was like, yo, you know, we're going to have to let them go. People said, it's them. You saying it ain't. I said, no. He said, no, y'all got to go. It's over. He said, no. That's it, man. So. <laughs> That's what happened, bro. I ain't lying. So, moving forward. Right. It's about no friends. That's right, the movement. No friends is the movement. And the movement is for all the dead niggas. All the niggas that's going to die in prison, mm -hmm. all the niggas that's in prison, it's for the homeless people. You understand what I'm saying? It's for anything and anybody that's just real and just go through pain, my nigga, suffer. Neglected relatives. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, I'm like, I want to be the black Robin Hood. Who do you give respect to in Harlem that was coming up? What crew did you acknowledge? I only, 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 only um, had one idol besides God. I'm talking about street idol. Yeah. Do a nigga named Doo Wop. What, 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 who, who is he? Who is he? Is he alive? Yeah. He's still alive. Tell us about him. I would never tell nobody nothing about Doo Wop. Mm. Never, ever, 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 ever. Like, I used to wish I was with him. I used to wish, like, you know, I used to be like to tell, like, I had a friend named Rob who was real close with him. I used to tell Rob, like, yo, man, tell that nigga do, man, I want to be with him, man, because he would appreciate me. They don't appreciate me. He would appreciate me. Wow. Wow. And he was a good money nigga? Or you just want to leave it like... Yeah, just want to leave it like that. Just remember that name, Doo-Wop. They, they got a movie out on him and the DVD and all that. It's on, it's on, what you call it? It's called The Something of Harlem. They call themselves the Something of Harlem. It's the three kids on the front. I heard he talking his talk, too. And Not he, the matriarch of Harlem, man. It's, 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 three, it's, it's like three niggas on the front cover. I've seen the cover. But boy, he he me on steroids. Mm. It's so real, right? I talked to him one time, right? And he said his son asked him if he knew me. Mm. So he said he told his son, yeah, I know him. I know of him. So I told him, do your son know who his father is? And he bust out laughing. Mm. <laughs> Well, you talking about me? I ain't nothing compared to dad. That's why he was always my idol. I seen him slap the shit out of my man one time, man. That shit <laughs> fucked me. Too, man. <laughs> no, I'm serious, oh, man. That's what made me feel. Yo, my nigga, I was shocked, my nigga. I couldn't believe he smacked my nigga like this and then say, get my money and walked away. I said, man, who is this nigga, man? But he every bit about that music, though. That's why they call him doo-wop. Hmm. So let's we'll wrap it up. Um, before we wrap it up. Right. I think I like I like this. It's not, not that one like we, you know, that we just had to like this a lot. Mm -hmm. How you feel? It's good. Call him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's real hard. Um, <laughs> tell me about. What you got going on now? You know, radio. Uh, Tell them what we got going on. Why I do this? Gangsta.com. Gangsta.com. Just went live today. 
Okay. Mm. Okay. Check that out. The Instagram is uh, Gangsalu145. Gangsalu145 on Instagram. Yeah, and definitely check out the YouTube. Tons of material on there. Gangsalu Chronicles. Gangsalu Chronicles. Yep. Documentaries. Three documentaries. About to do four. The no friends thing. Like, how do you guys? Uh, I know you say it's, it's for the people who struggle. No, it's really it. it's really for um A Z little brother who died. Right. Boogie Barnes. Yeah. Don't live but, but 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 it it it, it I, I do it for the people the, like you was about to say mm. people like him. What does it consist of, though, the, the, the no friends? Uh, he tell people, like, what? To what motivate them. Go ahead, Fox. I'll let Fox explain it to you. I went to prison at 19. Mm -hmm. I'm my mother's only son. Right. Mm -hmm. I have no brothers or sisters. Mm -hmm. So what I learned through my decision-making in the streets, because y'all think y'all know Fox 5. Let me tell you about Aunt Griffin. Mm -hmm. I have no friends. When I went to prison, I needed no favors. Because what I learned being alone is genuine love is not a feeling. It's a behavior, my nigga. So if niggas don't show you they love you, you don't need no friends. Bottom line. All right. All right. Fuck out of here. The fuck is a friend? Before I met you, before you were born, before I was born, I was born original. When I met you, you end up having an opinion. My nigga, I'm a original nigga with options before you became a fake friend with an opinion. Mm -hmm. No friends. Friends, bro. Got to be family or something like family, bro. Who know you? You who that? Who are you? Real nigga shit. Don't fuck with friends, bro. Fuck a friend. If that's, you your, to the if, end. That's, if that's your nigga, then, then consider him your brother. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's not your friend. That's not your homeboy. Yo, that's, that's your brother, man. You know what I mean? Real nigga shit, man. Don't fuck with friends. And that's how you set a nigga up. Like, Let's just say, let's just say you threw a party or something, mm -hmm. and, and, and you wanted certain niggas not to come. You tell certain niggas you don't want to come. Yo, when you get to the door, just tell them, yo, I'm, I'm his friend. We have been his friend forever. <laughs> and you tell the people that they tell it to, and you niggas say they friends, do not let them in. Bozo. <laughs> and they're be like, yo, I'm family, B. Let them in. Hmm. But if your family was understood, don't need to be explained, cause you'll be familiar. You dig what I'm saying? No friends. You, uh, I like that. But you, 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 you ain't tell us real quick. I just thought about it. You ain't tell us what you got incarcerated for. Which one? Which one? You said which one? For breaking the law. Does it matter? I don't know. Yeah, I, I want to know, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I don't never go to jail. <laughs> I don't never, I don't never go to jail for selling no drugs. Oh, it's just violent crimes. Always violent. And you did 11 years in Atlanta. You said. I did 11 years in Atlanta, not, ele not, not 11 years in Atlanta prison, no. But I, yeah, 11 years. You could say it was prison. I did, you know, in and out, in and out, in and mm -hmm. out, but, yeah, I've been through some hell this last, uh, since 2006. I just come home 2016, then they came here and got me 2017. So, yeah, I- What they got you 2017 for? For shit I did in Atlanta, they came here and got me. Extradition, you know, they extradited. Mm -hmm. They came and got me. Yo, flip. Yo. While my, while my big brother Lou do this, can I get the Can I Live instrumental at your discretion? Yeah, you know we can't play that on 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 YouTube or on iTunes. Fuck that. You I just want to give it to Queens Flip. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You want to put it on for him? All right. But before we do that, let's let, 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 let us sign out and stuff. If we could do that, yeah, let's sign out and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, is there anything else you got to say to the people? I love this interview, man. Mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, he's shaking his head. Yeah, yeah, I love. It. I, 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 I think. I think that um, we do, we do, do we do things different up here. Flip the script, and it, we. I, I want to personally thank you for coming up here and giving us the real. Cause I ain't know, you know, a hundred episodes. I didn't know which way it was gonna go. You know, in the beginning you was talking low, you know, yeah. Then you just turned up, turned it on. Yeah. Like a torch. Certain certain certain, certain, certain um, subjects will just get me like that, bro. Mm hmm It's gonna always be like I'm like that in the street. You know? Yeah, you was like that with me just now with the phone for being ten minutes late. I know, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Can you no, tell I'm me not what the sorry you you, Lou. Yeah. Can you tell me what the two crosses on your face mean or you're not allowed to talk about that? Yeah. Would it be a documentary? Never be a nothing. You'll never talk about that? Never. 
Respect. It's dope. On, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> like Lou. Don't look at me like that. You trying to burn through my soul, nigga. I can see you. I'm looking too. You got a way of looking like you just trying to stand through a nigga, like pass me, nigga, in my, my life, bro. I told you that with everybody, bro. I don't know what kind of look it is. I've been looking in the mirror forever trying to figure it out. You, you have a gaze that you're staring, a staring, that you're not blinking or nothing. It's called a penetrating, piercing, focal point. I'm looking right at you. Pause. Or you're nigga, just, yeah. eye contact. My Pause what? Like, that. like, if we all get a fight, I just look at us, you'll just turn the head, but... People say that about me. Like, nah, it's good. Yeah, you, you do. Yeah, you have a. a, a you, it's a stare. You're mm -hmm. not blinking. You're just looking. Like, oh, okay. I probably <laughs> but, be thinking at the same time or whatever you probably said or probably trying to figure out what you about to say. Mm. My mind probably just going to a stare. I don't know, bro. What made you do that? What, what? What? Who got you to do this interview? That's what, that's what I'm oh, curious my about. Niggas from, you know, my man from Baltimore, right, Mark. That nigga love that no friendship so much. Like, I met this nigga in Atlanta when I was going to do it, bro. Mm -hmm. And he a Baltimore nigga. Mm -hmm. And him and his brother just jacked me. Like, how y'all niggas jacked me? Mm -hmm. Him and his brother jacked me. Like, nah, we like you, bro. You ain't mm -hmm. New York niggas. Nah, you a different nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. So I always kept it trill with them niggas. You know what I mean? So he he always, yo, Lou, what you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? That shit. I say, yo, bro, you know what I'm going to do for you, bro? I'm just going to let you be uh, vice president, VP, and no friend south, bro. Just go on and get your shit together. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did. He built the website, and he got the no friend south. He got uh, motherfuckers all on it. And, you know, it's just, I, you know, I'm so used to having, I ain't going to say having nothing. I'm just so used to not. Not having what I what I feel I deserve or what I should what I want, mm -hmm. that even when I'm about to get shit or shit come to me, I'm just not happy, cause I'm just used to not being happy. It do that make sense? Yeah, that's wow. part of the PTSD. It's part of that, not being able to 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 uh, to appreciate the things that you never had. Because you're so used, it becomes volatile. It's just your one way. And this is why if you talk to a therapist or somebody talk to you, they will tell you and say, yo, when something happens, appreciate it. Or they will bring it to your certain triggers. That's one of their main goals. They'll listen to you and say that when this happened, they'll have you write things down or put it there as a form of appreciation so you can know, so you can understand it. Because you don't mean it. You don't mean to be like that. It's just something what you've been through. It's just it's just the uh, it's just what you've been through the the injustice that you served. That that that's why you like that. You don't mean to be like that because you can see when you start talking and you get into the groove, you you smiling, but then you turn it off instantly based off of you know how you feeling, and that's part of you know the PTSD. And and a lot of people right now, even the guys I had on here and the. The, the OGs and stuff, what they do, and when they talk to me, the ones that come home from doing 31 years and stuff, they say that, they tell me, yo, I had to go see a therapist. I had to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't talk to anybody, it's just their job, the people you talk to, is not to tell a soul. They're there to listen. Confidentiality. Right. Confidentiality. Right, right, they right. do that you shoot. That's a big lawsuit. Right. HIPAA laws. Yeah. HIPAA laws of hospitals, any hospital. Yeah, you're right. Wow, you're my man talking. Talk yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can't talk about it. They can't. They cannot. That's a lawsuit. Yeah. Anything they say, they can't talk about. That's they can't use it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. They, they, spread, they, they snitching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This interview. Yeah. This interview. I paid taxes for this, bro. Yeah. I paid taxes for this interview for you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're right. Shut the fuck up when I yeah. tell you what I tell you. Yeah. I don't tell nobody else. And then they, that's gonna ball up inside of me. I'm gonna blow up. Yeah. And then it's gonna be mad. You're right. That's how it is, bro. It's true. Gangsta on the pound. Gangsta on the pound. That's why a lot of people. See, I keep them with me because this is this is this is what I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's good shit though because my man uh, Glenn Toby, my nigga that started that um, that book bank man for the homeless people. Nigga say, you're a dirty face angel. 
Hmm. Wow. <laughs> and on that note, yeah, let's sign out. And then when we sign out, we we'll go to Fox Can Fox. I Live? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Under No Friends Entertainment. Yeah, hold on. Let, 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 let's get you know, and then we go to the so one more time. Gangster, gangsterlude.com. Right. The website. Yo, tell it. Check, yo, check radio, it out. Tell them everything. Radio. He told us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just you know. Okay. Gangsterlude.com. Gangsta Lou 145th at Instagram. Mm-hmm. No Facts. Friends Entertainment is the movement. Facts. Flip the script. Podcast is what we on right now, ladies and gentlemen. We got love for y'all. <laughs> we appreciate y'all having me, man. Round of applause for them one time, awesome. man. I really do appreciate you. I, 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 I don't know who got you. I don't know who got you to do this, man. Salute to everybody that got you to do it. One person. And a lot of people that... Mark. A lot of people that come up here... And man, my partner right here. They be like, man, Queen, Queen, Queen's Flip don't, you know... Don't take things serious, but we go on a new route, man. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all yeah, usually don't take. I never. You see, this is my first time. I yeah. had to ask him to. to, to um... Wait, 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 wait. When you go home, <laughs> yeah. and when you look at everything, it's gonna come together. But you, oh, y'all gotta edit it though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. when y'all gonna view it? Well, well, right now, what I'm gonna do is that I work fast. Right. You know, one of my one of my my partners left that does the editing. You know what I mean? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a clip out tomorrow. I'm putting out the Apple part tomorrow, nigga. I don't give a fuck. That's what I do. <laughs> Build momentum. Yeah, Pete exactly. You know, like, you know, we had a lot of the brothers from prison that was up here, you know, the NYC Bloods, and it's, it's doing good on YouTube. Like, you know, 100,000 in two days, and, you know, the Soul B episode, the Killer Cav, and, you know, mm-hmm. it's doing great. And then, you know, we was continuing, and you came here, and then this just, I can not ask for anything better, because this was as dope. Okay. You know, when you gave it, when, especially when you, because I listen and I feel good that you gave us something that you didn't give nobody else. Right. So when you go home and then you go to Queen's Flip page and you look at everything, you're like, oh, this nigga is, cr-. you're like, all right, cool. Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Until then, I definitely appreciate you rocking with me off the strength of just us meeting, man. Salute to radio, salute to, salute to Fox Files, salute to my man. What's your name, homie? Swizzy, man. Swizzy Bronx, Bronx, man. Swizzy Blanco from the Bronx. My man Swizzy Blanco. Man. I like mm-hmm. Swizzy Forrest Blanco. A.K.A. Moses Blanco. Moses. He's been splitting seeds. Hey, Moses, I've been splitting them seeds. Got you, got you. Swizzy mm. Blanco, Moses Blanco. Yeah, see? <laughs> there you go. So, oh, oh, my G. God. Classic episode, yeah, man. DJ so, G. That's money. nice, man. You see this? Yeah, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Sounds cool. How you got that? I got it. What you mean? You didn't get China. Oh, yo, yeah. Yo, he cool. You saw what? Look at him, G. Yo, sir. He cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is, he is. Yeah, cool, shout cool. out, G. Shout out so we can get to Every it. Thursday, man. Tipsy Thursdays. Y'all know what time it is, man. Um, you know, uh, yeah, at DJ G Money 156 on the Instagram. Make sure you uh, check the page out. Look out for the album coming soon, too. We're on the album. Yeah, it's in the works sure. right now. You know what I'm saying? So, I just ordered some pizza, man. You know, hopefully come in time for these gentlemen to get some. Yeah, that's yeah. great, bro. Sure. Thank you. Bro. Yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. Fox might want some. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. but first yeah. I want that pizza. Yeah, hold on, hold on, Fox. Let's, <laughs> sign, let's pizza sign out. Pizza. Hey, yo, yeah, yo, man. Queens Flip, you are TV. That TV, man. Once again, it's a dope interview, man. You know I move fast, man. You know, th- you know, I'm happy that I was able. You know, we able to share these stories for y'all on the new route that we're going, man. Shout out to Gangsta Lou. Hopefully, he does take the advice and go speak to somebody. Man, because I think that, you know, it'll help him a lot. You know what I mean? I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate somebody's so loyal. A lot of the loyal people get the shitty under the stick because people mm. think in their mind they're trying to grow instead of just sitting there and trying to compromise and understand one another. And, you know, I you know I, I became a, a victim of that, and I became the doer of that. Mm. And I could see that it really bothers people. I see sometimes you just got to sit down and try to reason and understand and, and try your best to to make things happen. So, you know, I definitely appreciate him coming up here. I, I appreciate the interview. Nice. But, you know, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blind. And if you see a nigga like Gangsta Lou and Fox 5 on your lawn, you don't need to use a firearm. Let Gangsta Lou in, but get the firearm for Fox 5 for Queens. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get the freestyle going. Play yeah, I shit. love you, niggas, man. I really <laughs> do, man. Yo, I, yo y'all, y'all, y'all different. I appreciate uh, you. Yo, radio, how many interviews we done done yeah. about? We done more than that. Yeah. Has that oh, been? yeah. Huh? What we doing, Black? Yeah. What do you say? You say what yeah, yeah, one time? Yeah, mm-hmm. Tell you, Lou, what you said you love us. Yeah. I love y'all niggas. Y'all niggas is the illest, bro. For real. Y'all energy is... As soon as I walked in here. No, as soon as you set out here. I fucks with y'all. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. that, I man. You know, for the podcast, you know what I'm saying? So we about to do something, man. We about to do something for my man, Fox 5. Hey, yo, is this for the Dr. Manic, man? Salute, man. Like, 
What, what, what's it? What's it? Radio. Radio. Radio graphics. Radio graphics. No friends. Man. No friends. No friends, man. It's Queens Flip, man. Let me tell you something, man. You know, and this is exclusively for y'all. The thing is, to come in and learn from somebody, man, we got to learn from one another. Right. And this is what he's trying to teach. The no friends thing, a lot of people may take it as a negative, but you got to really look into it because it, it, it really makes sense. You know what I mean? When he put all his, his trust into a friend, they left him out there to hang because he put so much pressure on the word friend instead of looking at family. Obviously, family means more than a friend. You understand? So these people that he called friends didn't oh, do their job, wasn't honorable. You know, and so the gangster, I'm, 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 you know, I'm humble. You'll see a clip tomorrow. Sit in the studio and put something together. And loyalty is royalty, yo. Facts. Mm, loyalty facts. is a must. Know that. Rise up. Loyalty is everything. Flip the script. Fade it,